Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about linked performance tips again. This is video 7 out of who knows how many. And uh, we're going to discuss frameworks this time around because um, in the previous videos I've showed you how to take a link method and make it a bit faster, either by introducing value delegates, just better version of the algorithm uh, using structs instead of classes when it makes sense, devirtualizing interfaces and generally um, doing a better job at branch prediction and even branch elimination. So this time we're going to look at frameworks which do it, um, uh, you know, implement all of these things in, in their like design. So uh, they're going to be fast out of the box, hopefully. So we're going to look at hyperlink and we're going to look at struct link. We're going to compare them to link and to our custom implementation that we did before. So let's jump in. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a list of 100 elements and uh, we're going to try and count elements which are greater than some number. That number is 90. So uh, here's the link implementation here. Nothing really fancy. And let's just run it uh, quickly and see how it performs. So it takes around 40 milliseconds. And uh, but to do a proper comparison, let's see our custom implementation that we did in the video before. So uh, what I have here is I have a uh, value delegate, which is a struct that has a single method. And that method is going to be inlined and uh, we're just going to have an interface here. And now um, if we're, if we're going to use that, then we're going to have to sort of pass it around and we're going to pass it around as a type, uh, uh, like a, you know, um, generic type here in order for it to be uh, treated as a struct. And we're going to pass it down to our enumerator and we're just going to use it in our enumerator here. And of course, every single thing that we care about uh, in terms of performance will be inlined here explicitly. We're not going to take any chances. So it should run reasonably fast as compared to link. So let's see how well um, this version does. So it takes roughly 20 ish to 25 ish milliseconds. All right, so let's move to frameworks now because um, we have two frameworks that we want to test. Um, there's hyperlink and hyperlink is really cool because most of the time it's just a drop and replacement. So if you just drop it, if, you, if you're going to use the Netfabric hyperlink, it's just going to work. So you don't have to most of the time rewrite any of your link stuff. It's, it's going to, you know, pick it up. And as we can see here, the where is now not uh, is, is not coming from link. It's coming from the library. Um, this library has certain overloads that link doesn't have. So it's pretty cool. Um, it has, uh, if I believe, cur um, certain methods that, uh, you know, uh, provide more functionality than uh, you, you get out of the box with link. So, all right, let's test this version. So this version will take around 40-ish, 30-ish really, around 37 milliseconds. So let's, let's compare that to link. So link takes around 40 milliseconds. So this is uh, slightly faster. It's not a whole lot faster, but still it's, it's a, like I said, it's a drop and replacement and it's faster. So um, now let's go to struct link. Uh, which is super interesting because this is the, the, the library that uh, heavily uses value delegates. So it's the same thing that we did before, where it will just uh, expect an I function. You can inline this and you can sort of design this, um, this evaluation function as you please. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say that element has to be greater than 90. And um, we have to do some extra things. So we have to say that the list will be converted to struct enumerable, and then we can pass the, you know, our struct here. And uh, this here, this bit here is just to, I presume, um, preserve the type information correctly and not specify types explicitly here, because this Lambda is going to be thrown away in, in the library. So it's just, uh, you know, we're going to pass it along and it's not, the, the library is not going to do anything with it. So. I presume this is just to retain correct type information here. 
So um, we're gonna have a sum as well. Uh, sorry, let, let's not do sum, let's do count. So now um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna count with this library as well. And let's see how well do we perform. And this might be surprising to you because it was surprising to me as well when I first did the test. It's actually two, at least two times slower than Link. So it's the slowest one around. And um, why is that happening? So we have the library, obviously, but it's not working as advertised, right? Uh, well, the reason is, there's a reason. And... Uh, the reason is that uh, in order to be able to use this correctly with uh, all of the BCL types, there's actually another library that you need to include here and it's called the structling BCL. And if we're gonna do that, then uh, it's it should hopefully work correctly. But um, if we don't, then as you probably might expect, something is wrong and uh, we're actually landing on the heap um, so we're not doing a good enough job of like you know having a zero allocation uh, link here and let's verify that this is indeed happening so as you can see we have a bunch of struct enables on the heap which we don't want uh, we probably have something else which I might missed but um, this sort of verifies that um, something is wrong with the library and that something is that we don't have um, proper type support for lists so we have to add them and let's add them. so there's this uh, this library called structling bcr and if we're gonna install it yeah let's install and uh, now uh, when we're gonna run uh, this test again uh, we should hopefully see uh, a much better result using struct link. Okay, so uh, 29 milliseconds. <clears throat> Pretty good. And it's very stable, as you can see. So, um, this is the fastest implementation. Uh, even It even beats our custom implementation. So, um, yeah, as you can see, uh, this is good. So um, let's maybe do something else uh, <clears throat> before we go to like summary. Uh, let's fire up a benchmark.net test because we want to be extra sure and verify that uh, first of all, these work as intended. And second of all, uh, if uh, we have any allocations because our custom implementation shouldn't have any allocations. Struct link using the correct BCL library shouldn't have any allocations and hyperlink should have some allocations but it should be less than links so let's let's run it uh, let's run the tests um, this is going to be sped up by like 15 times and let's go all right so here's the results and uh, as you can see um, where link um, surprisingly is the slowest one um, and it allocates a bunch of stuff on the heap. Um, it's told to 160 bytes because what we have to do is we're gonna allocate our enumerable. Um, so our iterator really is going to be allocated. We're gonna create a display class to capture locals to the, for the where. And finally, we're gonna allocate the func as well. So at, there's gonna be at least three allocations. Um, in terms of hyperlink, hyperlink, as you can see, is faster. It's um, actually in this test, it's it's you know really much better than than just link because it's uh, the ratio is twenty five percent. So um, it's going to still allocate stuff, but it's half uh, of uh, of the link version because um, it will not uh, put like enumerators on the heap. But what it will have to do is it still has to do a display class allocation and a funk allocation because um, it doesn't use, uh, to my knowledge, uh, value delegates at all. But like I said, it's a drop-in replacement, so that's good. And finally, we have the struct link, uh, which is really, really fast. It's almost two times faster than link. And uh, what uh, it's allocating, it's really not allocating anything on the heap. So that's really good. And finally, there's our version, which in this 
test has proven to be the fastest, but uh, if you run these tests a couple of times, they're actually really pretty much the same, the struct link and our custom version. And uh, we're not allocating anything on the heap as well. So that's really, really good. So um, what else can we see from this benchmark? Um, well, that uh, these functions, actually this test does not really prove that, but these functions should be uh, much more stable over time because um, if you do a lot of small allocations, then what you can expect is um, your standard deviation of performance uh, will sort of vary. Uh, we're not seeing this in this test because this test is way too simple in order to be able to you know, see that, but at least we can see the performance uh, differences here. So. Um, if we go to our presentation, I have yet another sort of like result from benchmark.net. And as you can see here, um, it's pretty much the same, although the struct link in this case provide, uh, has proven to be faster. So because these numbers are really, really small. And uh, as you can see, the standard deviation in this test is actually saying that they're more stable in time, which is something that we would expect to happen. So what's the takeaway here? So the takeaway here is that if you want a cool and simple drop and replacement, you use hyperlink because it is faster. Um, in some tests, it's going to be a lot faster than link. Um, in others, not so much, but in this test, we can we, we sort of prove that it is faster. And if you want to go uh, like full performance, you use hyperlink, uh, but you have to keep that in mind that hyper, uh, sorry, not hyperlink, but struct link is requiring uh, value delegates, which uh, have their, you know, you have to create them in a special way. Uh, you have to write the link method in a special way. It's not a drop and replacement. You have to do some extra work in order to be able to sort of use that. And finally, if you don't um, have a need to replace all of the link, what you can do is you can run your custom one um, as we did here, and it, it will be totally fine. But if you if you have a need to make an entire like link library faster, you use frameworks. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's all for the video. Um, Thanks for watching. If you found uh, this to be valuable, if you know, if you learned something, like and subscribe, and um, you know, see you in the next uh, video, I guess. So yeah, thank you and bye.